Are you on a mission right now to get yourself fit, to lose some weight, to stack on muscle, whatever it is you're trying to do with your health and fitness, if you're motivated for it right now, this episode of Fit With Frank TV is a must see. You're about to witness a secret recording of a live Q&A we have just done for a six week home exercise boot campers, where I had the pleasure of inviting the legend, the brain, the queen of mindset, Jill Harvey Bush down to share her wisdom on how goal setting, the traditional style of goal setting could be a disaster for you right now and how changing to choosing the direction to head towards will be the difference and get you the results you want. Hope it helps. Setting a goal in the terms when I trained as a coach, they were very, very specific. So you set the goal, if it was for fitness or weight loss, it would be, I'm gonna lose a kilo a week and I'm gonna do it by this date and I want to be eight kilos lighter in four weeks and this is how I'm going to do it. And what tends to happen is when people set a, such a stringent goal is that life gets in the way, I'm very busy at work, I've got stuff to do, so, you know, a child is ill in the family, oh, I haven't achieved my goal this week of a kilo or whatever. So they tend to then give up, or what I describe as fall off the goal train. Fall off the goal train. <laughs> fall off the goal train, and then the voice in the head gets going about, oh, well, there you go, it's happened again, and now I'm behind and I can't keep up. And particularly when people are at home, as you say, motivating themselves to do a, a course and thinking, I've fallen behind. What am I going to do? Oh, it's easy then to say, oh, well, I'll give up and, you know, not do anything. Whereas if you set a direction, that is, I'm going to lose weight. That's the direction. And it can be, you know, you, you can put a date on it if it's for a ski trip, for example. Or most people do it for special events, don't they? It's the wedding or it's somebody's graduation or, or so on. So it's the direction. And in that is, I'm going to lose weight or I'm going to get to a certain fitness, but it's not making it so specific that it says, I've got to do this, this day, this day, etc. So it allows you to say, I'm going to get there. And I think you've had an example of a couple of kind of directions yes. that your boot campers had set. Because we used hashtags. hashtags. I know I've, I told you about that and you've seen it in the group. Yeah. We don't, and I don't ask these guys, any guys now, to set a clear goal, as we discussed, yeah. for the reasons you've just explained. Yeah. We set the direction, which I've labelled in the modern way as a hashtag. hashtag. So we got some wicked ones in here. Tone up the wobbly bits, on it? I think that's Caroline. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a great one. Salopets, which I've only just learned off of skiing. Yeah, that's for skiing. Learning. So somebody is off skiing. Yeah. Uh, yeah getting your uh, salopets. The mum tongue. Yeah. So, so these are all directions. Sort of like, they're saying. all directions, yes, which is great because it's actually saying, you know, in the old days, if somebody had said to me about tone up the tone or how much and when are you going to do it and commit to it yeah. and do this and do that and well, you're going to do it at five o'clock every day, etc. And that then is so specific, it doesn't allow for the flexibility of what I call modern life. So when I trained as a coach, you know, many years ago, started as a baby, of course, when I trained as a coach, <laughs> it was very much about you get them to commit and you get to say it's this time, this time, this time. All these years on, that's so difficult with modern life because you might commit to do it at seven o'clock at night, but my train's late, you know, southwestern trains, for example, or wherever in the country, Quite often, or snow. Yeah. You know, we've had a lot of snow, for example, I can't get home, or people are away on holiday, or suddenly corporate, I'm stuck in a meeting. And then that makes it really difficult. The mind kind of goes, well, I didn't achieve that. Then you beat yourself up about it, and the negative voice gets going, which then means it's much more difficult to motivate yourself. Whereas if you just set the direction, then you can say, okay, I didn't manage it today, but oh, let me have a look. Yeah, I can do it tomorrow. And it keeps you on track. Far more. I know with a lot of my clients that I work with, it's about setting a direction takes pressure off them. They feel that, okay, if I don't manage it today, then that's not the opportunity, if you like, to 
beat myself up. So is that the same with, because we are tasked to exercise every day on this boot camp, yep. right? But naturally, That's days are missed. So well, there's a direction, be, yes. and we're very free, and people in the group now are missing a day. It's all fine, they'll just that, come in the next exactly. day. Exactly. Exactly, That's all because true. the direction is I've joined the boot camp and I'm going to do the boot camp when I can. Um, if you want to be specific, as you say, it is, okay, the direction, the goal might be that, so getting it down smaller, is that I'll do that today. Well, if I set that goal that I'm going to do it, as I said earlier, seven o'clock every night, and then something happens, it's easy for me to go, okay, I'm not going to do it. Whereas if I just sort of say, okay, I'll do it today, it could mean I'll do it in the morning, I'll do it in the evening, depending on your day. Some people like to go, I will do it at this time. And that's great if you can be absolutely sure you'll be available at that time. So it could be if you know there's mum, somebody wants to get rid of mum tum, then maybe that's when the baby sleeps, or you know, if they've got a nanny or they're in play school or they're at school, then I know I'm gonna I can guarantee that I'm gonna have that time. So the difference really is direction is more long term. A goal can be very short term. Short term and pressurised is what we're saying. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the danger that, of a goal. Yes, it the can pressure. be. If I miss that, yes. I've failed. That's what I tell myself. Yes. Whereas a direction, I'm still in the same direction. Absolutely. I may have missed a day, but I'm still in the right direction. Yes. So I'm okay. Yes. And that's, that's knowing all. that some, you know, having just as you say been added and having a look through, some of your boot campers have done the okay well i missed yesterday but actually i've done double today and that's great because they've set a direction rather than going oh you know it was meant to be five o'clock yesterday and i've missed it and that's much easier if you miss a specific time to go oh well i've done it because we've set that so short-term goals absolutely i agree with goals in that respect and as i say for some people they have to have a very specific goal to get to. So if it suits those people, that's fine, but it is about being aware. If I say to you, okay, set the direction of what you want to achieve, how does that feel? As opposed to, okay, what does the word goal really mean to you and what's attached to that? A lot of people who have been in corporate life, like myself, will know the good old SMART goals. and. I know working in corporate life with SMART goals, lots of my clients have told me, well actually what I do is I then dumb down the goal so that I can achieve it. Whereas when I set a direction, it feels more achievable to me. So it's really interesting how it just impacts on the thought process. And really that's what I'm, I'm saying today is, it's working with somebody to just notice how you feel when you say, I'm setting a direction, does that feel more achievable, less pressurized than I'm setting a long-term goal? Because when you set a, a longer-term goal, there's so many things that can interrupt it and you kind of fall off that goal train. Things that you literally can't, you know, you have no idea is about to happen. You know, for me personally, a few months ago, I lost my mother-in-law. So, you know, a good two weeks was spent looking after her or being with her. Um, so, okay, if I'd set a goal, I might have fallen off the goal train because I've missed two weeks. But if I set a direction, I'm still on track. So it allows for a little bit more flexibility. You know, I'd use the analogy of driving. If you wanted to go to Bristol or to Scotland, hello, Scotland. Scotland. If you wanted to, I love Scotland. Do the Scottish accent. I love, I can't do a Scottish accent, but I do love <laughs> Scotland. You know, there's more than one way of getting there. So you can either go up the M1, you could go up the A1, you can actually fly, you could go by train, you could drive, you know, I'm not suggesting you cycle, some people do cycle all the way to John O'Groats, but that's setting a direction, but it gives you flexibility on how you get there. And if you want to stop off in a lay-by, you know, or in the services, that's fine, you're still going in the on right the direction. direction, you're still on track going in the right direction. So I hope that kind of I think, helps. Yeah. Obviously, a little bit. I was trying to catch up and if there's any questions, if you haven't asked any questions, anything, even if it's slightly off piste while we've got the mind lady <laughs> in the room, anything you want to know. She's, she's probably reading house. your mind through these waves. I don't know how she does it every day. But it is noticing how when you change tiny little things in your head, 
words, you know, I pick you up on stuff, um, the impact that it can actually have on you. So as I say, today we were just looking at, okay, try out what's a goal, how does it feel if I set a direction in where I want to go, you know, in terms of business, etc. cetera. Um, again, you know, looking at it from that side of things, if companies years ago used to set very strong five-year goals, you know, 10-year goals, well, actually, if you'd set that now and companies just stay on that track, think 10 years ago, we didn't have smartphones. We didn't have Skype. We didn't have video conferencing. Unfortunately, I'm old enough to remember that. Um, so times. if a company had set their goals so stringently, they would actually miss opportunities. Um, and I think with fitness, it's the same. It's okay, I might not be able to do the boot camp today, but by setting the direction, I raise the awareness, okay, instead of taking the lift, I'll do the stairs. Instead of taking the car to the, you know, I'll, I'll park further away in Sainsbury's or there are other supermarkets. <laughs> <It's> just <fancy>. <laughs> It's then, you know, um, I can actually walk, but that helps keep you on track rather than making it so specific. You, you beat yourself up. People tend to beat themselves up when they miss their goals. I'm on board with that. So I think take like any anyone who's in week three, middle of the boot camp. Yeah. You need to re readjust the mind again. I I feel that's needed. Just reevaluate that hashtag we did in week one. Go back to that direction. Yeah. Remind yourself of it. Don't worry if you've missed a day or two. I think pretty much everybody has. Like it's it's happening. That's what's. It's called life, right? It's life. That's what I'm just that's what I'm talking yeah. about. It's but called life. You're still here. You're still on the path. You're in the right direction, so there's yeah. nothing more we can do, is it? Absolutely, that's exactly it. As you say, if you've missed a day or two, okay, you've stopped off in the services, as an analogy. But you're coming back, you know, onto the road, and yeah, you can continue along to the direction that you want to go to. So Beautiful. Yeah.